afternoon and welcome to uh, our biggest drug court graduation since COVID. Judge David Mattia has spent the last 15 years heading up the Cuyahoga County Drug Court. What began with his one docket in 2009 has now expanded to four dockets. He does remember that the court's top judge took a chance on him. Nancy McDonald was the administrative judge at the time and uh, a couple of us threw our hat in the rings and she was fool foolish enough to uh, pick me and she got some grief over it from, from the plain dealer. But, uh, I can't thank her enough for um, <sighs> wow, I can't believe I'm getting emotional. Um, she probably saved me. Getting emotional is something that happens yeah. a lot in drug court. Clients start the program at what is often the lowest point in their lives. Extremely grateful. You know, someone like me looks for every excuse to run, so to have people behind me that wanted me to succeed more than I wanted myself to succeed in the beginning, it's a blessing. The goal of drug courts is simple. Break the cycle of recidivism by addressing an offender's drug dependency. Judge Mattia now heads up what is known as the medically assisted treatment docket, which takes advantage of medication to fight addiction. A word he says is really no longer appropriate. The word addiction. We don't really use that much anymore. We certainly don't call people addicts in drug court, you know, that stigmatizes them. Um, so we call them, you know, people with substance use disorder, people with dependency. Judge Kelly A. Gallagher took over the traditional drug court when Judge Mattia began the MAT program. Another drug court docket is HOPE, helping others prosper every day. Under Judge William McGinty, HOPE provides additional opportunities for those who are at high risk of rearrest, have longer criminal histories, and struggle with moderate to severe substance use disorders. I feel that the public is supportive of what, what we do. And the reason that I believe that the public is supportive is because substance use disorders, mental health issues touch all of us. For the past seven years, Judge Joan C. Sinnenberg has presided over Recovery Court, originally established to help those with a dual diagnosis of dependency and related trauma. It's now one of the first drug courts in the state to focus primarily on those victimized by human trafficking. I'm grateful for the judges that participate in drug court. We recognize, as, as the 34 of us do, that there are needs here, and we're just very grateful to have a court system where we respond with these four dockets that are specialized, responding to the needs in our community uh, as we feel that we can do the best then to serve uh, our fellow citizens. Not everyone who is admitted to a drug court docket successfully completes it, but Judge Matthias says spending time on the docket itself can be helpful. So even though they may have violated their way out of drug court and didn't graduate, they learned enough while here to get sober when they were ready to get sober and as a result, you know, they weren't coming back, they weren't committing cr crimes of thievery and, you know, deception to obtain dangerous drugs and coming back in the criminal justice system. Judge Mattia and Judge Sinnenberg both agree that the future of specialty dockets, especially drug court, is bright because people see the results. What I see, and thanks to the judges in drug court, I see people with purposeful paths. I see them looking at this program as they're graduating right now as a second chance, and everybody deserves that. So we are grateful for the drug court for finding a way for people to get back into our community and live productive lives. I'm lucky I get a lot of the recognition for this, but you know, without, without Molly and my probation officers and my case managers um, uh, and, and our community partners, you know, we, we wouldn't be nearly as, um, as effective as we are today. We're grateful for the Thrive Peer Support Coaches. We're grateful for every family member, every sponsor, every team member, every clinician, every treatment center, every case manager, people who really care about the work that they do. We know it makes a difference. To date, more than 2,000 people have been part of the Cuyahoga County Drug Court programs. And like a pebble tossed in a pond, the ripple effects spread to families, employers, and the community. You know, I'm looking at the diplomas, and if you, I have a little office in my house, and if you go in there, you won't see my diploma from college, you won't see my high school diploma, 
but you will see my diploma from graduating from treatment um, because my sobriety uh, is the most important thing in my life. Yes, it's the 15 years you guys have been helping the community, and that is amazing. I didn't know drug court was around that long, but um, that is a huge deal. We have a tremendous need. In 15 years, congratulations, Judge Mattia, 15 years representing uh, represents hundreds of families and thousands of people getting their lives back on track. You know, what's the, the phrase, the, the Hebrew phrase, you save one person, you save the world? We've saved a couple planets, you know, because it really it makes a difference. I want to say congratulations to all those involved. 15 years of drug court. I remember when we started this program, and I just can't think of how many people and how many folks that we've helped over the years. So thank you for all you do, thank you for all the effort, and congratulations for 15 years. The Assessment and Treatment Services would like to thank Judge David Mattia in the Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Drug Court for 15 years of valuable service. Thank you and your team for providing inspiration, strength, and hope to the many drug court participants over the years. Congratulations. Hey, Judge Mattia, it's Jennifer Tooley and the team of Matt Talbot Residential Treatment Program. Congratulations on 15 years. We are pleased to be a partner and continuously are impressed with the work that you and the entire drug court docket does. Thank you, congratulations. It is hard to believe it has been 15 years since the first drug court started in the Common Police Court. The docket changed the way our court worked with individuals with drug and alcohol addiction issues. Judge David Mattia's appointment 15 years ago by then Administrative Judge Nancy McDonald paved the way and now we have a total of four drug court dockets. It is my honor and pleasure to congratulate and thank Judge David Mattia and all of the drug court staff who worked tirelessly to make drug court the success it is today after 15 years. Congratulations. Thank you so much for everything that you do and continue to do in the recovery community. Uh, we know Project 180 would not be in existence without your help and support. Uh, again, congratulations and thank you for everything that you do. Congratulations on 15 incredible years, Judge Mattia. Thank you for everything you've done from the team at Stella Maris. Woo -woo! Judge Mattia, I can't believe that you and I have been doing this for 15 years. I only have one thing to say. Congratulations on 15 years of drug court.